Example. Um, my ex-boyfriend told me that he wants to have uh, a child with me. He said, I want, I want to have a child with you. I think you're going to be a terrific mother, but I'm not going to marry you. Uh, we're going to just live together and have a child. And then I asked him, I said, like, why don't you want to marry me? He told me because I don't believe in marriages. I just simply don't believe in marriages. So I went to my friend and I shared this information and she told me not to take it personally. She said, uh, because he wants uh, a child with you, this is the most important. Uh, so it's not about you, it's just he doesn't believe in marriage, it is normal. And luckily I was not convinced. So I went back to my ex-boyfriend ex and uh, I start bugging him and I start asking questions and I ask him um, how do you see us in five seven ten years and he told me uh, do not rush he said uh, let's do it step by step um, you will move in with me we're gonna sell your condo we're gonna have a baby you're gonna be an amazing mother I'm gonna be a dad and like we'll see in two three years we'll see how can we know what's gonna happen in two three years and when I said no, I said like, um, so you want to sell my condo, you want to move in with me, but you don't really see us in five, ten years together. You, you're saying, we'll see. And he said like, yes, because how can you know what is going to happen in two, three years? And basically when I told him that uh, I'm not happy about this decision, I really want to be with you, but um, something is bugging me. Then a uh, few weeks later, he told me that he really wants to be a father. It's a stage in his life when he's ready to be a father. And he told me that he want me to be his surrogate mother for his baby because he thinks that I'm going to be a terrific mother. And finally, I realized that he was a narcissist uh, and all the time he was thinking only about himself and he found a good girl who can take care of his baby without any obligations. So when a person cannot clearly explain his opinion, this is a sign of a predator, a man with a blue beard. The phrase, I don't believe in marriage or will see, is not an answer. Having a family, uh, creating, uh, like living together, uh, selling properties, uh, it should be a serious decision. This is not a game. This is not believe it or not game. This is a serious decision. So if uh, a guy does not offer you an exclusive relationship, if he does not want to talk to you about uh, your future, if he is not planning anything for your future, then he does not take you seriously. A relationship, any relationship should have boundaries. Boundaries help us to uh, protect our relationship. Boundaries help us to treat each other with love, respect and care. If we don't have boundaries, then at the end we're gonna be either um, in a toxic relationship or we're gonna be disappointed and we're not gonna be happy and the truth is that m my friend when she gave me this advice don't take it personally of course she did not mean bad things of course not and uh, often we choose friends who are like us Friends who don't know how to create healthy boundaries. Friends who also believe in the fantasy of a paradise world uh, that bad things are not going to happen to me. Uh, so friends who also don't know how to notice those red flags. And that's why after talking to my friend and after going through painful breakup, I found a therapist. I found a psychologist and they went to personal therapy where I discussed my problems, my feelings and that's why we need a therapist. Our friend cannot replace a therapist, cannot replace a psychologist. A professional person who knows 
uh, psychology who can teach you those red flags it's not just the person who will understand what is happening to you it's not just the person who will provide you care and support but this is also a person who will guide you and who will help you to uh, to um, to grow to this person will help you and will uh, let you um, will teach you how to deal with this situation how not to get uh, how how to leave the situation and uh, a professional person will teach you how what to do so you're not gonna end up in similar relationship again and again and again uh who agrees to that please write in chat who uh, felt something similar and um if you are gonna watch this uh, webinar uh later if you are not uh, present during the live broadcast please let me know in comments if you can uh agree relate to that if you had something similar when you talk to your friend and you know that your friends are not telling you the truth and when you feel lonely when you feel like you have a uh, very painful hard situation and you have nobody to talk to it about or, or if you are talking to the person then people are telling you that you should ignore those signs that you taking it personally and you're making a big deal out of nothing please let me know if this is something that you can relate to